The human eye is very sensitive, but can we see a single photon? The answer is yes, sensors in the retina can respond to a single photon, but neural filters only allow a signal to pass to the brain to trigger a conscious response when at least about 5 to 9 arrive within less than 100 milliseconds. If we could consciously see single photons, we could experience too much visual noise in very low light, and so this filter is a necessary adaptation, not a weakness. The retina in our eyes contains two types of receptors, known as cones and rods. These receptors play crucial roles in our ability to see in different lighting conditions. While cones are responsible for color vision, they are much less sensitive to low light than the rods. This is why when we enter a bright room, the cones are active and the iris of our eye stops down to adjust to the light. This is called photopic vision. On the other hand, when we enter a dark room, our eyes first adapt by opening the iris to allow more light in. Over a period of approximately 30 minutes, other chemical adaptations take place that make the rods become sensitive to light at a level that is about 10,000 times less than what the cones need to work properly. After this adaptation period, we are able to see much better in the dark, but unfortunately, we have very little color vision. This type of vision is called scotopic vision. The rods in our eyes contain an active substance known as rhodopsin. It's a remarkable molecule that can absorb a single photon of light, causing it to change its shape and trigger a chemical signal that's transmitted to the optic nerve. But that's not all. Another essential component for vision in low light conditions is vitamin A aldehyde which acts as a light-absorbing pigment. Interestingly, a deficiency in vitamin A can lead to night blindness, which is the inability to see in low-light conditions. This happens because the lack of vitamin A aldehyde prevents the rhodopsin molecules in the rods from functioning properly, thus impairing our scotopic vision. It is possible to test our visual sensitivity by using a very low-level light source in a dark room. Such an experiment was first done successfully by Hecht, Schleyer, and Pyren in 1942. They concluded that the rods can respond to a single photon during scotopic vision. The experiment involved exposing human subjects to extremely dim light and recording their visual responses. The results showed that even a single photon could trigger a response from the rods in the retina, proving just how sensitive our eyes can be to light. This discovery opened up a whole new world of possibilities in the field of vision research, leading to further studies on the mechanisms behind our visual perception and sensitivity. During their groundbreaking experiment, the researchers allowed their human subjects to adapt to the darkness for a period of 30 minutes. A controlled light source was positioned 20 degrees to the left of the point on which the subject's eyes were fixed, targeting the area of the retina with the highest concentration of rods. The researchers used a disc-shaped light source that emitted a faint flash lasting for one millisecond and had a wavelength of around 510 nanometers, which is in the green light spectrum. The disc was positioned at an angle of 1/6 degree to prevent too much spatial or temporal spreading of the light. The subjects were then prompted to respond with a yes or no answer regarding whether they had seen a flash, and the intensity of the light was gradually reduced until the subjects were only able to make guesses. Researchers found that in order for a 60% response rate to occur, approximately 90 photons must enter the eye. However, only around 10% of these photons actually reach the retina. This suggests that only around 9 photons are needed to stimulate the receptors. In short, despite the fact that these single photons are too infrequent for the subjects to perceive, the experimenters were able to conclude statistically that the rods, which are spread across roughly 350 cells, are capable of responding to individual photons. 
and years after this research in 1979, Baylor, Lamb, and Yao were able to use toads' rods placed into electrodes to show directly that they respond to single photons. And finally, in 2016, a team led by physicist Ali Pasha Waziri at Rockefeller University in New York combined a quantum light source with sophisticated psychophysical experiments to show that human observers could respond to a single photon with their eyes. Human observers gave better than random answers on a challenging choice task. Thus. The best evidence yet that humans can really see a single photon has been achieved. So, can we see photons directly? The answer may not be a simple yes or no, but what we do know is that the human eye is an amazing instrument that allows us to perceive the world in all its beauty and complexity, and that's something worth celebrating.